at first flight at five o'clock. Yeah, really, the guys that went out were the guys that stayed out, didn't ever go to bed. Hardly. Yeah, they were you just know. up for the next flight. Yeah. I remember hearing uh, a story about the, the Hart Foundation giving Vince their finisher at a bar, too. I mean, was it before he becomes billionaire, Vince, if, did you guys get the impression he wanted to be, like, one of the boys, or he was well, one of the boys? I think he always yeah, wanted to be one of the boys. Yeah. I, think, I think from a very young age, he loved the wrestling business. When you see your bud like that, you got to want to be one of the boys. But I think that one night he took everybody's finish. I mean, yeah. Bulldog gave him a Bulldog Slam. Warlord gave him his finish. I, don't know I think it was hurting so bad he didn't want to go out anymore. Yeah, all, everybody. Yeah. I mean, the one night he took about ten finishes. But Shane was like that, too. You, know, you go out with Shane and, you know, same thing. Yeah, I've pulled Shane through a few hotel windows yeah, in my day. Yeah. Yeah. I was in Japan and Tokyo with Shane. And <laughs> yeah, from carrying him back to the <laughs> yeah. Are you guys surprised that uh, Shane decided to kind of step away from wrestling? I'm not. I'm not either. No. Because Shane's his own, I mean, James, Shane's a very independent man. I mean, he's, I do, but I knew he was going to be successful no matter what he did. He just had that aura about him, you know. How about Stephanie? She's kind of taken over the role as the heir apparent, it seems like, here in Triple H. Uh, did you guys always see that when she was a kid? Yeah, you could see that coming. When well, we when we were there, when I was there earlier, working for Senior, uh, Vince didn't want her around the business at all. But, you know. I don't know what made that decision, but I mean, she's evidently well competent to run it. So I remember Vince. We were all at uh, it was a big meeting or something, and uh, Stephanie came in with Linda, and Vince says, "This is my daughter." Now nobody, absolutely nobody, talks to my daughter, ever dates my daughter or anything, and that's it. Now Stephanie, you can go. That's remember when he said that? Yeah. I first met her, she was she like 16, something like that, maybe? Yeah, I met her when something, she was younger than that. Something young like that, but yeah, she's, I knew she would get in the business someday. Regarding Stephanie, this this one's, uh, you mentioned, Bill, about how some of the fans have wild imaginations. One of the long rumors uh, about why Randy Savage was kind of, when he left WWF and never came back and never had the Hall of Fame or anything, was that he had uh, some kind of relationship with Stephanie. You guys ever remember hearing any of that? I never heard that. I never heard that. Nothing like that. Either. I mean, there's so many rumors out there that if you believe them, your head be spinning. Sometimes you just don't understand why some guys aren't in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Some guys are. Yeah. Sure. Um, how about Triple H? What do you guys think about Triple H as kind of the other heir apparent to the, the WWE empire? I, I met Triple H down in uh, WCW, and I, I he's a great guy. I didn't get to know him real well, but... Uh, well received by everybody. So by the time he got up to the WWE, I, you know, I haven't talked to him really since then. You know, it's uh, it's hard to in this business. You very rarely get to really know a guy. I mean, you know, unfortunately, the fans know him as his, the character he played in DX. Right. So everybody thinks that you're a jerk or you know a prick or something. But in real in reality, he's a he's nice guy. great guy. I've always had great conversations with him. I mean. When uh, when uh, China was his manager, I always they always called me up, say, "Hey man, you want to come work out with us?" You know, and yeah, sure. Yeah. So I mean, he was always good to me. I met him years ago before you know when, he, when I was working as a mass superstar up in the, the New England area, and he was always you know he was just starting at that time, uh, always wanting to know the ins and outs. He'd sit and talk, and very respectful and. I think he's a historian of the business, and he respects the business. So, I wish him nothing but success. He's got to be doing pretty good. I mean, I don't know what the figures for WrestleMania was, but, you know. I mean, he's uh, he's definitely got the wrestling head. Yeah. I mean, he got the mind for it. Yeah. And, and you know what I think, too? I think he thinks like a wrestler, not yeah. like like the suit. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is what the business needs still is the wrestler mentality. Yeah. It always will. All right, let's rewind here. Uh Going back to when the Road Warriors come to WWE, WWF at the time, why, what made you decide to come when you did, as opposed to, you know, kind of um, declining the first time? Well, <clears throat> we, like Bill said, we were, we were busy in Japan, and we wanted the freedom to go back and forth. So one thing we tried to do, and it was Paul, we had a, a plan. We did not want to get burnt out in any one area. 
So we would go to the end of, we were Georgia Championship, we left, we went to Japan for a while, came back, then went to you know, AWA for a while, left for a couple of years, would do AWA and go to, you know, AWA had a thing like in Toronto and Montreal, you know, you worked there all summer and never have to work anywhere else. Then come back, go to Japan again, and then we decided to go to the WWF. Was there any any specific uh, feuds or programs that were mentioned that seemed appealing to you? You know, around the time you signed, or was it just no? I mean, there were so many guys up there at the time between the Hart Foundation and Demolition, and that's when tag teams were still very popular. That we figured, oh well, we can go up there and pretty much wrestle with anybody, work with anybody. You know, it didn't matter who we were; we could have a decent match. All right, how about for 